Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Mark AK Wingman 709 from This Xbox Live. And Rob, I know that I said it was your week, but I realized <laughs> you're not going to know when the intro music stops. So I guess I'm going to have to intro every week. <laughs> well, I, I do see it stop, but it's a couple minutes delayed. <laughs> 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 or not a couple minutes, a couple seconds delayed. It, yeah, there's about a five second delay. So if you're watching on the Twitch page, it's um, not going to help you much. Uh, so you won't know when to start speaking. So good thing I realized that. But did you hear the music, Rob? Yes, I did. Are you hearing yourself on the Twitch? I am not. And that's because I have muted everything because it just, I, I do hear myself, but I have to turn it off because I just can't okay. speak. When I hear myself talk. All I need you to know that everybody can hear you, so we don't do the next hour or two. Just Wait, let me, me. Let me make sure that they can hear you. I hope so. No one wants okay, to hear me. Okay, they can hear you. They can <laughs> okay. hear everybody and everything. Just fantastic. That's great, because no one's watching at this very second, so other than you. So <laughs> that is good well, to know. I see three people. Yay! Woohoo! So All right. maybe two more. Who knows? Well, this is, uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, this is our first official video podcast, but we this is actually episode 266 of this Xbox Life, and this is Call In Sick. And I am your host, AK Wingman709, also known as Mark. I think I did that backwards. <laughs> and uh, That's okay. right there above me, with me as always, is my good buddy Rob. I am Presar, also known as Rob in this real life <laughs> in in the TXL studio Midwest right or, that's right no 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 it's North. it's the northeast campus while you're in the southwest campus exactly and we are only an hour apart now because you guys finally fixed your clock and got on the right time and that's right so I got to start this a little later tonight so that's right that's extra <laughs> special treat you get to spend more time with your family yeah thanks <laughs> <laughs> wait if we were on Google <laughs> Hangouts right now, we do it here, the uh, crickets play. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So, welcome. Uh, thank you for joining. Um, yeah, yeah. Just remember that uh, you can support us through Amazon.com by buying all your purchasing things that you need. Buy everything. Buy everything at thisxboxlife.com forward slash Amazon. And uh, we would really appreciate it. You still get the same low prices as always, but we get a slight little kickback to help uh, to help support the show and if we get enough of you doing this we'll be able to buy you guys cool stuff and give it away on the show like games yes. and consoles and stuff so um, so anyways Rob what did That'd you play very this week? Sweet. I played a little bit of Defense Grid so this was a, a title that was part of the Games with Gold what about two three months ago something like that very good game yeah because I, I remembered uh there was a little bit of talk in the community about what a good game it was and how people enjoyed it when uh, it was new, uh, what, a couple of years ago. So I finally got you know some time to play Xbox, and I was going through my, uh, my games list. I'm like, hey, let me try that thing. And it was a pleasant surprise. Now, I have to say that I've played a whole bunch of tower defense games, and I hated all of them. <laughs> I, I do not like tower defense until today which is when I played Defense Grid. And uh, I, was, I was really surprised. I really enjoyed it. I, I don't know if it was just because all my previous tower defense games were all mobile or tablet-based. Maybe, you know, you just got to do it on the Xbox uh, in order to enjoy it. But it, it's, it's fun. It, it's, it's not as annoying and crazy like all the other ones that I played. It, it was a lot of fun, and, and I can see why everybody likes it. So I'm another person uh, to go on the uh, defense grid uh, bandwagon yeah, it is it was a lot of fun i had a really good time playing that title now and do you like tower defense Thermally? um yes and no it depends that one this defense grid i really enjoyed um, right yeah but um now nah, it, it was a good challenge it i when i played through i remember it as not being ridiculously hard i mean you can crank it up and stuff but uh, it was a good challenge. I had several levels that I had to do over and over. Um, but it was kind of a fun challenge. It wasn't like a frustrating, this can't be done. Um, I really enjoyed And there was just something about this one that made me go, okay, that didn't work. Let me try a new technique. Let me try different weapons. Let me, you know, and it took, you know, you're trying to find that right strategy to, 
to knock it out and uh, complete the level, and it was fun. I really enjoyed it. This this would probably be the best one I've ever done too. Yeah. So, awesome free game. Oh, absolutely. So, but again, so that, it was that... an older game, so you know, <laughs> I guess old games that they give away for free are okay if you haven't played it yet. True. But if you played it, then it's like what a bunch of crap. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. So what else did you play this week? Uh, that, that's all, really. All right. How well, about I, you, my friend? I did play Battle Fail 4. Um, mm -hmm. I think I'm about done with it. it it's um, I, Even the campaign, well, the multiplayer, I tried a little bit. And, uh, you know, it has the same whole spawn in and die thing. You know, they got the little camera and, all, and it never failed. I, I'm Now they implemented where, like, you can look at your buddy so you can kind of see the camera of what's going on around them. And I'd see nothing, right? Nothing going on. Okay. Spawn on them, bam, dead every time. It was just like, well, come on, you know. It's the same old stuff with Battlefield is just spawn and die. So the only way to not die is to spawn way back at the base camp. And what did you just do? You're, you're, well, now you're back. Your camera went black. And I got a bunch of weird noise from you, so. You still, <laughs> okay. you still with me, Rob? I'm still with you, my friend. Okay. Keep going. Keep going. We're rolling, keep baby. Going. Keep going. So, um, I, I just, and so I'm like, okay, I'm not even going to mess with the multiplayer. Um, I, I went back to the campaign. The campaign is better than Battlefield 3. But I still find it to be very boring. I'm just, it's just like, okay. I'm just like sitting there like, ah, ooh, yeah, okay, shoot this guy, shoot this guy. Oh, I suppose, hold on. Oh, oh, shoot. I can at least get the controller in my hand, right? Now that people can see us. I, and it's just, I just found it to be rather boring. Um, it was better, but than the third one, but. And then even today, I was trying to play a little bit today, and it was just frustrating, and I, I think I'm done with it. I just, I have no interest in it, and the game I really want to play comes out Tuesday, so. Yeah. Um, but I also tried to play, Rob, Batman Arkham Origins. Yeah. That showed so, up on how'd Friday. That go? It didn't go very well. Um, yeah. I put the disc in, disc one, into the drive. And it loaded, it started to load. I got the little Batman emblem. And the screen went black, and that's it. That's all it did. <laughs> you finished it? <laughs> yeah, oh, no I guess. Shot. I guess. Um, so I rebooted the Xbox, tried it again, got the same Batman logo. It disappeared, fade to black. Nothing ever comes up. So I can't even oh. play the game. I Now I know that Warner Brothers, and I don't think we talk about it. Let me look at our script real quick. But Warner Brothers did issue an apology for just tremendous amount of issues with this game. Um, so, and I can't even get the thing to launch. So I'm just like, you know what? Tuesday, I'm gonna be on one game on Tuesday. So I, I already, I just resealed the Batman game back up, and it's gonna go in the mail tomorrow to GameFly uh, wow. unplayed. So if I can't play it, if I just get a black screen, what's the point? And um, you know, I know other people are playing it. I don't know why it doesn't want to launch. So maybe it's just a bad disc. I You're just getting no out. love. I get no love, dude. So, but uh, I'm hoping that my boredom and just kind of anti-gaming status lately, because I have not hardly played anything in like a month or so, I've really kind of just disappeared. I'm talking to someone today I haven't talked to in over a month, and I used to talk to every day. And um, I've just been gone. So I'm hoping Tuesday... That'll bring me back with the new with my new game on Tuesday. So we'll talk more about that later. Okay. So, but that's what I've been playing. So why don't we jump into our topics? Let's let's. Okay. So uh, there's a, a slightly small title that's coming out soon, right? A little, yeah, yeah, a little, little something, something. <laughs> Call of Casper, something like that, right? <laughs> Isn't that what it's called? Don't mock. Don't mock. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, so Call of Duty Ghosts, uh, one of the hugest titles that is going to be coming out in the next couple, uh, probably months. Uh, there's some new screenshots that have been uh, leaked, however you want to call it. Uh, they've made their way onto the internet. 
And these 17 screenshots uh, talk about, or not talk about, they show a new mode uh, within Ghosts uh, that looks like is called Extinction. Uh, it's all about killing aliens and destroying their hives. Yes, it uh, is. Yes, yes. So, uh, it looks like there's going to be... What? It's not really a leak now since we're actually watching the video play while you're talking about the leak. <laughs> oh, okay. This was before they... Uh, it was like the day before, I think, Activision actually published an official trailer, which we're actually paying for the audience right now. Yes. So. Yeah, I see it now. Great <laughs> graphics, by the way. Yeah, yeah. No, I think uh, next. I think next year will be even better when they actually are oh, building for, sure. for the X One. Um, but you know, the game's always been fun. So. Oh, absolutely. So, but anyways, yeah. Keep on. Sorry. <laughs> no, I'm done. I'm just watching the video now. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, then I guess this thing we can... looks fantastic. <laughs> run, run! <laughs> You're being chased by a monster. Well, we can uh, we can go ahead on to the next. The next item, and that happens to be GTA 5. This is the juggernaut of the year, if you will. And it'll be interesting. I don't think Call of Duty is going to surpass it in sales. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens. But, um, you know, they, they might be able to because a lot of people are going to buy the, th the 360 version and the Xbox One version. And if you get a lot of people doing that, then it's an account is two sales to one person. So Call of Duty might actually be able to kind of technically beat the sales records that Call uh, Grand Theft Auto V uh, set earlier. So we'll see how that all plays out. But uh, with in regards to Grand Theft Auto, uh, they have uh, announced the first batch of add-on content. And early in November, the free Beach Bum Pack download will will add new weapons and beach-themed vehicles that players will be able to use in both GTA Online and GTA 5's story mode. The update mm -hmm. will also come with new tattoos and hairstyles, Rob, so you can, you can get some new tattoos for you. Sweet. Um, as well as new jobs, including gang attacks, survivals, uh, last team standings, parachutes, death matches, and races all taking place on the beaches and coastal areas of Los Santos and Blaine County. Rockstar has also announced social club events weekends where special rewards and bonuses will be available for GTA Online. These will range from limited edition in-game event or event crate drops to in-game discount specials. A new developer hosted live stream will also be started offering prize pack giveaways. Finally, the content creator for custom-made races and death matches will be going live. Rockstar will keep an eye on exceptional creations and feature them on the Rockstar Newwire. So if you are very talented uh, at making up some pretty cool thing, you could get featured on the Newswire. And, Sweet. Yeah. And as well uh, as add a Rockstar verified stamp to them in-game. So not only will you get notified, you get a Rockstar verified stamp. Pretty cool. Oh, yeah. So, as is the case with Beach Bum Pack, the content creator is also free. And then last we heard, there's that still that stimulus package that uh, Rockstar promised everybody, the $500,000 that has yet, the first payment did not make it yet, um, and supposedly they're going to hopefully shoot for it this coming week. So we should um, maybe get our money this week. So, but there's some bunch of content coming from GTA 5, so... That, that game is just never going to get old, I think. The online, I actually have more fun in the online than I, yeah. than I do in the campaign, yeah. It's just, it's just kind of fun rolling with your buddies, man. So, it's cool. Excellent. All right. All right, done? I'm done. All right, moving on. What next? Connect Sports. Connect Sports Rivals, to be exact. Uh, got delayed until uh, sometime in the spring of 2014. And Microsoft wants to kind of make up for that. So they're offering a free trial version of the game. Uh, it's going to be out for the Xbox One on launch day on November 22nd. Uh, it's going to be called Connect Sports Rivals Preseason. So it's going to have a, a, a wave racing mini game along with some monthly challenges until the full game releases. Uh, sometime in the spring or March, if that doesn't change. 
And uh, Microsoft has also released that anybody that wants part in this wants need, they want to download the preseason trial before November 30th to start earning points to unlock a founder to unlock a founder player title as well as a wetsuit and wake racer avatar items. So uh, this game really reminds me of kind of like a Hydro Thunder type of game. It looks interesting. Well, and, uh, there's several different. I mean, yeah, like there's the, a bunch of different things. Yeah, there's a lot of different games. So, but the the wave racing mini game, yep. really reminds me of Hydro Thunder. Hydro which Thunder. I, Hydro <laughs> Thunder. And I mean, I really love those games in arcades. Yep. So if the rest of the game is as good as the wave racing thing, it's it's probably gonna be uh, a hit. It will be a hit. Yes, yes, yes. Alrighty. So, and then uh, the free trial is going to launch alongside a Connect Sports Rivals hub that distributes preseason's uh, pre monthly challenges and rewards, which will carry over to the final full version as it releases next year. Cool. All righty. Good news. At least we get a taste yes. of some Connect stuff. So, I'm glad they're yeah. putting something out so we can kind of see how the Connect games are going to be. Yeah, um, yeah. Because really. I'm surprised this is the only real Connect game that I'm aware of that's even coming out. Yep, so that's right. Now that it's bundled with every box, I'm kind of was surprised to only see one really coming out. So we will see what happens. Yeah. All right, Rob. Well, I don't know if you need to, if you're ready to buy your new Amazon or Xbox Live uh, card, but um, Amazon is having a sale right now. Well, not a sale, but a deal um, running in through November 9th. If you buy an Xbox Live 12-month subscription, you'll get uh, a $20 Xbox Live gift card back. So essentially, you pay the $60, and you're going to get a $20 gift card to buy on uh, stuff on, on the marketplace. So, you know, depends on how you look at it. It's yeah. like 40, you're buying the 40 bucks. So, um, if Actually, I need to renew my... Uh my live subscription, I think, in two weeks. So I might jump on this. Well, you Actually, I, I will jump 9th. on this. Yeah. Use the link, Rob. Use the link. It's today, the third. Yeah, so a couple more days. You got a couple more days. So, um, yeah, I mean, you get $20 that you can use, so might as well, right? Oh, for sure. Okay. Done? I'm done. Moving on, moving on. All right, Halo Spartan Assault. It's a, a title from the Windows platform that came out a couple months ago. It is moving to Xbox One and Xbox 360. How exciting is that? You it, excited? Um, to buy it again? Well, it depends on how much they charge me. Because <laughs> I thought about this the other day. I paid, what, $7 yeah. on on Windows 8? And now I'm back to Windows 7 because I had problems with Windows 8.1. It basically blew up my machine. Oh, yeah. So I can't play this anymore. So, That's yeah, right. I'm looking forward to buying it again. <laughs> but I'm cur I'll am I'll bet you they charge at least $15 for you this think? game. I oh. think it'll be twice the price of what it was on the PC. And I think somehow they'll try to justify it. And I hope not, because, uh, remember, this was kind of like a microtransaction thing, you know? Oh, yeah, that's right. So I, I, I'm hoping then that they keep it as is or as was. Yeah. But we'll see. Yeah, so it looks like the game's going to be coming out in December for the platforms. Multiplayer between Xbox One and 360 is not supported. And I think we can probably also throw in the Windows platform as well. So there are no cross-platform abilities in this game. Yep. And um, It was fun, and yeah. it does look good. And I mean, yeah. I enjoyed playing it. I just would have... I think yeah. playing with the controller is definitely easier. So I'm looking forward to playing this on my big TV. It'll be fun. I'll definitely pick this up for Xbox One, without a doubt. Okay. So. Excellent. Yeah, the MSRP shows six ninety nine. Oh, good, 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 good. So, you can probably assume it'll be similar. I'm hoping it's the same on the consoles. Yeah, so we'll see. Okay. All right. So, how about Gears of War? How about it? You know, Microsoft recently uh, addressed this. That, you know, I don't know if you realize it, Rob, but Microsoft doesn't have any first party shooter title coming out for Xbox One. 
And that's uh, a good point. Yeah. So w- with the with the Xbox One just weeks away, there's still been no word regarding a next gen entry in one of the biggest Xbox exclusive franchises, Gears of War. In an interview with I uh, with IGN. Uh, Microsoft Game Studios corporate VP Phil Spencer discussed the future of the franchise and what needs to change going forward. And he says, I quote, I want to find a great Gears game, and I thought we did a good job with Judgment, but I don't think it hit the level of quality we saw in the previous games. Spencer said on the latest episode of Podcast Unlocked. That's the IGN uh, Xbox podcast. Um, I think review scores show that sales uh, show that uh, I th- or blah. He says, I think review scores showed that. Sales showed like that. Count? And I really think that, blah. yeah, blah, 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 blah. And I really think <laughs> One, that we two, need three. to ah, ah, ah. take a step back with Epic and think about, he doesn't want to call it a reboot because he thinks it's an overused term, but he wants to talk with Epic about where the franchise goes and how to expand what it was. So Judgment was the fourth game. I I mean I got all the Gears games. I bought Judgment. Um, Judgment was definitely the worst of them. But it it was just that I didn't think the game was bad technically or graphically. It just didn't seem for me. It wasn't as interesting. I I mean I never really even went back to it. I I did the campaign and that was it. It didn't, you know, we're Gears 3. I just kept going back, playing Beast Mode, playing Horde Mode. Uh, Halo 2, I played so much Horde Mode. Um, And it's just like, I don't know, they tried to do these other things into the campaign where they brought, like, um, almost like a Horde Mode style into the campaign where you had these moments where you could set up defenses and, and then go through and play with only specific weapons to try to get... You know, different uh, bonus points or whatever it was, and it just it just didn't really work in my opinion. It just right. it was more of a gimmick, and I was sad because the people that worked on the Judgment was was um, people can fly. These were the guys that made Bullet Storm, and I loved Bullet Storm. Oh yeah, Storm. yeah. Bullet Storm still one of my all time favorite games. That's good stuff. It is a blast. So I wish I would love to see people can fly, and we're going to talk about that. They're no longer called people can fly. We'll talk about that later. But uh, I would love to They're see people them that do, flew. <laughs> yeah, I would love to see Bulletstorm Two. That's what I want that studio to work on. But um, there, you know, Microsoft's still in talks about with Epic of where they want this to go and what they're going to do, um, you know, going forward. So right now, we really don't have any news um, on the future of Gears of War. But as popular as it is, I can't see that this franchise is not going to come back. So, but we'll definitely get, let you guys know when we find out. Okay. Excellent. So Microsoft, uh, uh, Phil Spencer, Microsoft's Phil Spencer, uh, recently talked about uh, Project Gotham Racing, Halo Wars, and Dance Central prospects. I know uh, particularly Dance Central is one of your favorites, right, Mark? You know it, man. Woo, woo. I know, I know you're uh, really on. looking forward Get to it. Groove on. Oh yeah. It's so your in regard, it's your birthday. <laughs> sure. Uh, so for Halo Wars, uh, he said, "I'm a big fan of Halo Wars." I guess that's a good thing. And uh, when he was asked about the Xbox 360 real-time strategy game, um, he he showed his excitement. Uh, since its launch in 2009, the strategy spinoff hasn't been heard from again. Can you believe it's been that long? 2009? Oh, I can't believe it's been That's that long. That's four years. Four years. Halo Wars was awesome. Yeah, but it came out four years ago. It doesn't seem like it was we, that long We ago. need Halo Wars too. Yeah, we do. Uh, it was never released on PC, and uh, the studio shut down in Sambal. I mean... I remember we were all kind of sad about that. Uh, the studio's founder revealed last year that Bungie um, wasn't uh, basically happy about like the whole thing that happened with its franchise. But now a couple of years have passed, and Bungie's no longer owned by Microsoft. So basically, what's the status of Halo Wars? Uh, Halo Wars is something I'm very interested in. Uh, Bonnie... Uh, and I talk about it quite a bit. Uh, 
Spencer said. I think Halo Wars falls in the shadow of the Halo first-person shooter. I mean, you're doing 10 or 12 million units of the Halo FPS. Anything else that comes out of Halo doesn't hit those numbers. It's kind of easy for certain people to look at it and say, well, that just didn't work. And I don't think that's the right measure of success. I think Halo Wars was a high-quality console-based real-time strategy game, and it was fun. And it was. It was a, I'd say that, that was a huge hit amongst us and all of our listeners, right? Yeah, I mean, it was not a... It was a very limited RTS. I mean, it wasn't one of these typical, like, you can just... There wasn't a lot to do, and, and, and mostly you would command all your units to follow... But it was kind of that transition to a console. I thought it was done very well. And now it's like, okay, you did it. It was good. It was fun. Now let's just branch off on that. Let's give us a little bit more micromanagement into stuff. You know, mm-hmm. and, I, and I'm hoping that they end up doing that. But I thought the game was great. Um, it was a lot of oh, fun. Oh, for sure. And I, even in the cutscenes in between, if you remember, Rob, yep. this game, the cutscenes were phenomenal. I mean, this was like movie quality cutscenes, and they were just fantastic. You know, I, I would love to see more of this game. Oh yeah. So maybe uh, they'll they'll make something happen. And so uh, they go further on to talk about uh, Halo Wars, and um, they say uh, uh, that he hasn't talked to uh, Robot Entertainment in a while. In fact, I'm not sure what the status of the studio is. And uh, I lost track here. (laughs) And, uh, And, uh, yeah, yeah. And if we're going to do something, we'd either have to think about doing it internally or find a good real-time strategy developer to help. There aren't a lot of great RTS developers out there anymore. And we'd want to do a great job with it. So, I mean, the measure of the, the first one, I mean, it set the bar pretty high. So if anybody comes through with a follow-up to it, they'd, they'd have to do a lot of work to make it good. Yeah, don't, okay. don't just slap something out there. I Absolutely. Mean, put, put the, I mean, this is Halo. You got to do it right. And you did a good first game. Let's take it. Let's move it on. Let's, let's see what we can do. Let's see where we can take it. But keep that quality in there. And, man, I'd buy Halo Wars too. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. A lot of people would. Yep. All right, Project Gotham Racing. This is uh, one of the flagship titles of the Xbox. Project Gotham Racing, the original one, uh, was a launch title for the Xbox uh, back in, what, 2001, 2002, whenever it was that thing came out. And I don't know. Project Gotham 3 <laughs> was a launch title for the 360. And uh, Bizarre Creations got acquired, uh, the developer, they got acquired by Activision in 07, and then shut down in 2011. Nice. Nice job. (laughs) So, one thing that is lacking for uh, this release over here of the Xbox One is a PGR title. What's up with that? Lots of things missing. Yeah, so uh, when Spencer was asked about the future of this title, uh, he goes, uh, maybe I think the kudos system that we had in PGR was the real secret sauce. I thought that uh, was the thing that people really loved. It had a great feel. It was there at launch, uh, which I think was important. Um I think some of the rumors around PGR were probably us working on Forza Horizon with Playground. And I think just uh, people were kind of just guessing that it was a PGR game. Uh, We talk, Alan Hartman and I uh, talk about PGR. I think we're kind of full in the racing space right now when we talk about franchises. That's interesting. They're full. In the racing space. What? With how many titles? Forza? Well, I think we've got Forza, Grid, um, yeah. there's Need for Speed, there's... I mean, there, yeah, there are... We don't have the Burnout those. series anymore. Uh, yeah. Blur, I don't think they're going to make any more, but yeah. there's there's a lot of racing titles out there. Um, there there are, I, I think. Uh, think. We also have got, what is that one, The Crew? 
which is oh, supposed yeah, to yeah. be coming. That looks really good. That looks awesome. Yeah. Um, so I, I think, yeah, they do they really need to put them out there? And there's other titles that I haven't played, like some F1 formula racing. The NASCAR game is coming. Um, so, yeah. Forts yeah. is all we really need. <laughs> yes. In my opinion. I mean, it's just so fantastic. Yes. So. Well done. All right. So he goes, uh, I know there's a lot of love for that franchise out there, and it'd be interesting to think about what we could do. I don't know that we'd ever have three console racing franchises. That seems like a lot for a first party with Forza Horizon and obviously Forza Motorsport. And interestingly, Spencer made it seem as if Forza Horizon were its own franchise. Hmm. Uh, when it was pointed out that Forza Horizon and Forza Motorsport were all Forza, Spencer said, Forza Horizon, I'd say it's not PGR from an arcade style, but it's not me sitting on a circuit running lap after lap. It's more of an open world. It's an interesting perspective. And then uh, the last title that he talked about was Dance Central. So this is a title that saw a whole bunch of releases between 2010 and 2012. And uh, even with the Xbox One having the revamped Kinect 2.0, there's no word on a next-gen Dance Central. Uh, Spencer says a lot of that comes down to Harmonix being busy with the development of Fantasia and the fact that Dance Central is a Harmonix game. Having Dance Central again on the platform would be great, uh, says Phil. You'd want to have the right studio working on it, the right team. When it was point, oh, he said, and when it was pointed out that the team is Harmonix, Spencer agreed, which is which is Harmonix. So it wasn't a situation where I thought that games would end up with another studio and simply kind of leverage the brand or something. And uh, I want another yeah. rock band. You do? I do. My wife wants one. She loves to play rock band with me. And she keeps asking about it. Is there going to make another one? I'm like, nope. <laughs> but <laughs> I would buy another rock band game. Call me silly. Did you buy more instruments? No, no, no. So you you might have to. No. It's a new platform. Come on. Uh, that's true. The wireless what, what, probably wouldn't work. They would make you buy. Yeah, I guess I would have done. Even if it did work, they'd figure out some reason. It's like, <laughs> Just you know, the you uh, yeah. There's a different amount of copper in the wires between <laughs> the Xbox 360 and Xbox One. You need more copper. Yeah, I don't know. So we knows. can't reuse the old instruments. All right. So you is that it for your story? Yeah, yeah I'm done with this story. All right. I'm done. So a world of Keflings and Iron Brigade. These are what's called Games with Gold, baby. And um, this is for the November games. Um, right now, uh, it's a World of Keflings, I believe, is the freebie game that everybody can get. This actually was a pretty yes. popular game, so um, yeah. and it's not that old, so it's a little bit newer. Um, and Wasn't this is, like one of the first ones that used the avatars or something? Well, there was a Kingdom of Keflings, and then this was a World of oh, Keflings. Okay. This one has Fame Star, so the new Fame Star thing that was added. Um, this is in the World of Keflings. And then Iron Brigade was originally called Trenched, and I guess they had to change the name, so it's now called Iron Brigade. But both of these, and that's a double fine game right there. So the Iron Brigade will be out on November 16th till the end of uh, November, and that'll be free. And then World of Keflings is going on right now until the 15th of November. So grab them, even if you don't plan on playing them right away, grab them while you can while they're free. And uh, those are your free games for gold for November. So. Excellent. Then uh, Ubisoft, we haven't talked about them in a whole show, at least. We have not. Yeah. <laughs> it seemed like we talked a whole lot about them a while back, and then all of a sudden we got a little bit of a break. So they're going to start a passport, their own, own passport, called the Uplay Passport. I guess Season Pass Passport, whatever you want to call it. It's a one-time use code in new games that grants access to online e features. E I think you're wrong, aren't you? 
What? Don't they? Didn't they get rid of this? I thought they got rid of the passport. Oh, it, they, I'm sorry. They can it. <laughs> They've canned it. Thank you. They've canned it. <laughs> yes. Uh, so the Uplay Passport program was initiated as a means of giving customers full access and support for online multiplayer and features, along with exclusive content bonuses and rewards. However, games today are blurring the line between offline and online, between what is single player and what is multiplayer. Based on that and the feedback we've, we've received from you, we've recognized that Passport is no longer the best approach for ensuring that all our customers have the best possible experience with all the facets of our games. So you play in Black Flag, uh, restricted single player access to the game's fleet management system, Ubisoft confirmed, and Ubisoft is eliminating the cost of the Uplay, Uplay Passport in Black Flag. Those without one can download a code for free via Live or PlayStation Network, and those who already bought one can contact support for more information. There you go. There you go. Yeah, all these uh, one-time use codes are disappearing. I still think there's going to be something something in the in the works to replace it, but we'll see. I think it's just going to yeah. be when everything goes digital, they won't need these anyway, so. Yeah. But, all right. Well, Rob, we've talked a lot about Rise, Son of Rome. This is a big title. It's coming to Xbox One only. And uh, this game does come out on November 22nd when Xbox One ships. And um, they are so... They are... Man, see, we can't... Now when we blooper, we, there's like nothing we can do about it because we're live. Well, we uh, wouldn't do anything about it anyway. <laughs> ah, that's probably true. Um, but there will be a season pass for this game. And some of the things that are going to be in this... Uh, well, let me just read this article. This is from Xbox Wire. And they say, on November 22nd, prepare to step into the iconic Colosseum of Ancient Rome and Rise, Son of Rome, it's gladiator mode, and forge your destiny in blood and steel. However, however you career... Wow. However your career in the arena... It's contagious. ...will not end once fame and glory have been achieved upon the sands. You're rubbing off on me, Rob. This is horrible. I'm usually not... I usually don't have my tongue tied here. No, no, just me. <laughs> But Microsoft Studios and Crytek have announced an entire season of upcoming multiplayer content for Rise, Son of Rome, giving players new battlefields, armor, events, and more to expand their legacy in the exclusive Xbox One launch title. Four add-on packs will be released in the months following launch, and with the Rise of Sun Rome season pass, you can own all of them, plus exclusive in-game items for only $20. This is a more than a 25% discount versus buying each add-on pack individually. And the Season Pass will be available for purchase at launch and will include four add-on packs, which can contain a total of 14 multiplayer maps, a brand new mode, six player skins, new level events, and access to a new tier of weapons and armor. And an in-game sword and shield with bonus attributes for use in multiplayer that are exclusive to the Season Pass. Yeah, I can see I'm going to need the season pass to get all the help I can get and get that extra sword and shield bonus. So, but 20 bucks, I think that's not bad. Um, I'm glad they're not throwing it out at as a huge price, especially since it's multiplayer only. Um, but uh, this game definitely looks interesting, and I'm, I'm mm -hmm. excited to see more of it. Excellent. So, cool. So a couple more features were released for the Xbox One, and I'm pretty excited about one of these, uh, at least. Uh, and that's going to be that the uh, Xbox One... So, I mean, what do we call this? I mean, because we used to shorten the Xbox 360 to 360. Do we just say One? The One does this? The X1? X1? <laughs> X1? I call I don't it know, X1. it just sounds weird. X1? Okay, the X1 supports audio CD playback... Yeah, not a huge surprise there, I, I suppose. If it's got a disk drive of sorts or an uh, optical drive, then you would think it should be able to do that. But it also supports DLNA streaming. So that's something that I use a lot in my house. D do you do any of that? Just curious. No. No? I've so, got my uh, Xbox hooked up uh, to the PC to stream music through the house, through the speakers in the house. Just, But it's just normal 
Normal cabling. Okay. Nothing special. Yeah, I, I use that a lot for playing um, movies and stuff for my son throughout the entire house. It helps so you don't have to have you know DVD players everywhere and so forth. You just have a centralized server, and then you can you can watch his shows wherever. So, but anyway, the X1 is going to do both of those things, and those are two features that distinguish it from the PS4. And uh, it also looked like uh, the PS4 lacked some music-related functionality. Uh, this was released uh, uh, this week or last week. Yeah, this will be last week. Yeah. This was released. Uh, primarily, it can't play audio CDs or MP3s and lacks a music visualizer and DLNA support. Oh, well. I thought it only did everything. Oh, wait, that's the PlayStation 3. So everything but that. The PS4, you upgrade and can't do what you could do before. That's nice. Take features away. Sweet. Way mm-hmm. to go, Sony. <laughs> oh, yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's it for that. All righty. Well, we talked about um, Epic Games a little bit ago, and we talked about people can fly, and... Um, people who flew. People who flew. They don't fly anymore. They are this... Uh, it's now... People who people can fly is actually now known as Epic Games Poland. So they the when you see Epic Games Poland, it is people can fly. And they are actually going to work on Fortnite, which is the game that um, Cliff Blazinski was working on when he before he left. Okay. So they are going to overtake that. And if you don't know what Fortnite is, it's a co-op survival sandbox game where players forge for supplies during the day, construct fortifications, and attempt to survive ways of attacking enemies throughout the night. So, um, so that's we don't have a, any idea when that's coming. But Epic Games Poland is the new studio. All right. It's uh, interesting that it would be in Poland. You don't hear too much about studios out there. I know, yeah. But those guys did a fantastic job, like I said, on Bulletstorm. And hey, Judgment wasn't mm-hmm. bad. It just was, you know, when you hand it over to someone else from such a... I mean, they had such a high mark to live up to. That's pretty tough to do, so... Yep. Okay, some more information came out from Microsoft uh, on their data collection and sharing policies. There was a new uh, privacy or should we say privacy mm. statement. Uh, they've released uh, a new statement uh, not too long ago. And uh, it specifically outlines how the console's Kinect camera collects data during gameplay. And you control what happens to photographs taken during gameplay and whether voice commands are captured for analysis, Microsoft explains. You can turn Kinect off at any time. The updated policy also assures that Kinect's detailed facial recognition data will not be transmitted to outside sources and will be deleted after each gameplay session. Some game titles may take advantage of new capability called Expressions. This, um, the statement reads, the feature allows you to use your defined facial expressions to control or influence a game. The data does not identify you, and it stays on the console and is destroyed once your session ends. Weird. Yep. It's it's a little weird, but whatever. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> yeah, and uh, they upgraded their uh, terms of use the other day. Mm-hmm. I remember that one. I logged on to claim my uh, my n- new title for November. And they said, nope, not until you give all this your <laughs> third, fourth, fifth born children and all this other good stuff, right? It's like, say yes or keep on trucking. All righty. Well, Rob, I think this is the part where I cry. I'm a little sad. Again? Again? The, I'm tired of you crying all the time. The best game for Xbox One has been delayed. Oh, all right, only been a couple of weeks, but still, I'm a little Wait, upset because... Shorts has been delayed? <laughs> Peggle 2. <laughs> I was planning to play Peggle 2 
first on Xbox One before I played anything else. I thought it was coming out on launch day. It's not. It's coming out in December. You know what? I'm sad. You can still do that. You just have to not, not hold <laughs> off opening your console until December. Uh, well, the way things are looking, that might <laughs> that might happen. But um, Peggle 2, I was disappointed that it's not going to be a launch day title. It is in the launch window. So Peggle 2 will be out for Xbox One in December. So there you go. Boo, how sad. Uh, it is sad. Very, very sad. On to happier news. Uh, Machinima. <laughs> I think uh, everybody's kind of heard of them. They did that fantastic Halo series. When was that? Last year? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, yeah it was yeah. last year. And they are set to premiere a live action series based on Rise, Son of Rome. So I think they're really betting that this thing's going to be a hit. But hey, it looks like it's going to be one so far. So they've partnered together to produce a live action web series. Uh, based on that, and it's going to be called The Fall. It's a four-part four part story, and it's going to explore the character of Marius Titus. Marius Titus, who is also the main character in the game, and will be appearing on a, I guess, a, a YouTube device, YouTube-capable device uh, near you on November 5th. Hey, that's this week. <laughs> wow. I... Uh... I will have to so definitely check this one out. That is Tuesday. Yes. Interesting. So Martin McCready is a British stage actor. He's going to take the role of Titus. And Brian Belletic is going to be the director. And then you can check out the trailer online. And uh, we'll, we'll see how and, it goes. So and, you can check out the trailer now and the show on Tuesday. <laughs> exactly. Wow. So, so I think that's it, right, my friend, for yeah, our topics. So, what takes us to our community, and our community is awesome. We got our community talking. So, I gotta say, I'm looking at the Twitch page. Rob, I was actually able to pull it up, and we're still not losing anything. So, I'm able to actually watch the chat window, and we have our yes. community members. Uh, some people I definitely recognize. There's actually someone there I'm not familiar with. Um, but I'm very pleased to see them uh, watching our show and they're talking to each other. And um, so if you're interested and want to watch the live stream of this, we, we have people talking and enjoying what they're seeing. So some of the comments I've seen have been great. They're, en they're actually enjoying watching and seeing what we're talking yeah, yeah. about. So that's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, and I'm you can tell when we're reading the chat window because we're like this, where I'm staring at the, <laughs> at the corner. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, what's he doing? But, um, yeah, so, you know, if you want to join our community, we are on Facebook. That's um, We've been asked why we don't have a forum on our website. On our main website is thisxboxlife.com. Uh, we did in the past, and we just really for didn't have a... For a long time. Yeah, we had it for a long time. For years. But we just never really had a lot of people active in it, you know. And so we said, oh, we'll just go to Facebook. I mean, everybody uses Facebook. Um, and we've had a lot more activity there. So we do use Facebook, so just look for This Xbox Life. Uh, if you want, you can see on the screen here, it's facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash one really big long number that I'm not going to read. So just look for This Xbox Life. Uh, you can email us with any questions or comments. Uh, contact at thisxboxlife.com. We also are on Twitter, and if you um, follow us on Twitter, you will get an announcement when we do the live broadcast because we it does... To, uh, send out a tweet as soon as we start recording and um, that's it we're not going to be using the voicemail anymore because we at this moment well I suppose we could still get it into the show because it, it, it is an audio file so we could still do it actually yeah. so if you want to leave us a voicemail you can leave it on our website using the application um, I did want to say we did get an email this week I actually got one from yep. Roberto UK73 and he wanted me, he said, hi, just wondered if you would mi wouldn't would mind giving a thanks shout out on the next podcast to all of the This Xbox Life GTA 5 online crew members. Um, I've managed to link up with quite a few members from all around the world, and it's been great. Nice. 
They have all been really friendly, and we have had lots of laughs on the missions and earned some great money together. If anyone would like to link up for missions or upcoming heists on the Xbox 360, then please feel free to send me an ad request and a quick message outlining that you are a TXBL member or TXL. Um, I think we had to have, I think it's TXBL on the uh, GTA group. Yeah. Um, hope to catch you both uh, also in Los Santos online. Best wishes, Rob. Roberto UK73. So, Rob, thanks. Um, this is what, what I really like here is now I don't know Roberto, UK73. Never played with him. Don't know who he is. He just sent out, obviously, someone that listens or somehow got in the community. And he's saying, hey, your community is awesome. I've had a great time. That's what I love about our community. You know, oh, we've got sure. some just fantastic people out there that all they want to do is play. They want to have fun. And it's just good people. Um, so I'm really very happy with the community we have. So Absolutely. Uh, even the Canadians aren't too bad. <laughs> we have a few Canadians that, that, that hang out. And they're pretty cool, too. Couple to treat, eh? Couple, yeah, eh? <laughs> so, all right, Rob. Well, let's, uh, j- let's go to our, the, our new releases for the week. Yeah, there's a, there's a couple of things. There's... Uh, and I know, Mark, you've always, uh, you know, been telling me offline, you know, while nobody could hear that Zumba Fitness World Party is one of your most sought after titles this year. And uh, good news for that is that it is coming out this week. Oh, joy. Also, the 2K Power Pack Collection. Now, Oops. didn't this come out like the last three weeks? Um, I don't know. I think it just keeps getting delayed. And you're going off something. script here, so you're messing my, my video up, just so you know. Oh, really? You need to oh, go in I'm... line, mister. Oh, man. <laughs> That's okay. I know what you're doing. I... <laughs> now I'm pay- Now I got to pay attention. I can't, you know, you want to go off script here. Okay, that's fine. So, yeah, the, the, the power pack, uh, I don't know. It was supposed to be out last week. Then I saw that it had a new delete date of this I week. I thought it was different. I thought the one... Okay, so two we, episodes. We talked ago. about this one last week, as coming out last week. Yeah. So. Let me, which let me look Darkness this one up. Two, is this Bioshock Two, and yeah, Mafia this is Two. The, yeah, this is the same one. So. So Mafia Two, Bioshock Two, and. I can't read that other one. Whatever it is, Darkness. I think. Darkness Two. Yeah. Okay, there's that, and. Um, Okay, which we one also are you have uh, Ben 10 Omniverse 2. That's it. That's all that's coming out this week. Okay, right. Yeah, just Ben 10. That's it. That's going to be the big one. Not not yeah. a little something called Call of Duty Ghost, baby. That's, it's a ghost. Come on, you can't see it. It's invisible. <laughs> this uh, is right. the only thing you need to know, Rob. And, Rob, I, I don't even know how you can bad talk it or give me crap because you are the one that turned me on to Call of Duty. That's Do you hey, remember that? I'm not bad. I'm not bad. Bad Do you mouth. remember it, that day? I remember. I was a Call big of awesome. I like Call Medal of, Duty. of Honor fan, and I remember you called me to your house one day. In fact, uh, I think it's the house you're still living in. Wow, that was a long time ago. Yeah, it and was. And you had the projector set up, and you were beaming the game onto the wall. And, and I sat down, and it was Call of Duty. And I was just like, wow, this is awesome. Yeah. And I've been I've been a Call of Duty fan ever since. I mean, it was the same guys that made Medal of Honor Allied Assault. So, yeah, yeah. you know. But uh, this is the game of the week, man. This is it. So That's right. So, yeah, we've got Call of Duty Ghosts. And there's two other editions, the Hardened and Prestige editions. So, hey, if any of you guys get those um, other versions, you know, post some pictures on the Facebook group. And if you Good haven't yet, out. haven't yet purchased these for some strange reason, remember... This xboxlife.com forward slash Amazon for all your purchasing needs. Yes. Support, <laughs> your right. sh- support the show. If you haven't bought them yet, you can buy them at Amazon. Yeah. So, But use our link, please, so that we get the credit and we can su- that will support the community and we can give you guys free cool stuff. Yes. All right. And that's... Uh, that's all. That's it, Rob. That's the end of our show. We got nothing left. Um, if you guys listen to us on iTunes, please rate us five stars. That helps us to get noticed in the iTunes store. Um, and spread the word. If you liked the, the broadcast tonight, 
And I'm, I'm so happy we didn't drop a single frame. So we fixed our issue we had. We've actually got people watching. I'm excited, Rob. Yeah, that's awesome. So, um, and, and remember, come November 22nd, when you're playing your video games, you can snap your Twitch and watch or listen to us while you play in a video game. You can still watch us on the 360 now by launching the Twitch app. But on November 22nd with Xbox One, you won't even have to stop playing your game. You can just snap us into the side, baby. Yeah, there you go. Nice, Rob. <laughs> All right, with that, I guess, and I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I know it's corny, but I'm going to do it anyways. I did this in my test, okay? So what? I am I am Mark, a.k. Wingman709. I'm taking off. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I'm Rob, also known as Pre-Star. Hey, thanks for listening and watching, everybody. We'll catch you all next week. Bye, everybody. <laughs> nice. I saw.